Hi everyone, I am Praveen Kumar. Welcome to my channel. First of all, I want to thank each and every subscriber of our channel. Today, I am going to explain about the introduction of the square roots and cube roots. Here, before going to the square roots and cube roots, let us know what is a perfect square, what is a perfect cube. Here, a perfect square means perfect square means here if you are having any number is multiplied two times then whatever the result we get that we say it as perfect square. For example, if we are having a number 9. Here, this number multiplied two times, 9 into 9. Here, whatever the solution we get, that solution we say it as perfect square. Here, 81 is a perfect square of 9. Wherever you are having the square, we write this 9 into 9 has 9 square. And this we say it as square. And if you are having 2 on the power, we say it as square. And here 9 square is equal to 9 into 9 is equal to 81. If you are having one more number like this 12, the square of 12, square is nothing but in the power you should have 2, then we say it as square. 12 square is equal to 12 into 12. If you are multiplying 12 two times, the solution we get is 144 and this 144 we say it as perfect square of 12. We can say here and perfect square is nothing but multiplying any number. If 100 is there, 100 multiplied two times, we say it has 100 square. 100 square gives 10,000 is a answer. So, that 10,000 is a perfect square of 100. Here, we are having here square roots and cube roots. We are having here perfect square. If you want to know the square roots, first of all, you should know what is perfect square. And if you are having 2 on the power, we say it as square. The inverse function of a square is square root. For example, if you are having a variable x and for that if you are having 2 square on the power is equal to 9 some number is there. x square is equal to 9 is there. If you are transposing the power to the RHS side, here power is 2, transposing the power to the RHS side, it gives square root of 9. Simply we can say it as the inverse function of a square is called as square root. We can say the general form of square root is root a. The general form of a square root is root a. Means root a can be written as a power 1 by 2. Actually any root Having in the form of nth root of a can be written as a power 1 by n. This one we say it as such. If you are having 3 root 5, this can be written as 5 power 1 by 3. Where a is 5, n is 3 and this third root 5 can be written as a power 1 by n that is equal to 5 power 1 by 3. But for the square root, if you are having under root 5, we can say it as 5 power 1 by 2. Even you are not having 2 in the place of the root, we have to consider we are having 2 in the square root. Here, the square root itself is having second root. Second root of the base 5 is equal to 5 power 1 by 2 we can say. 
सो सिंपली वॉट इज मीन बाय स्क्वायर रूट स्क्वायर रूट इज ए इनवर्स फंक्शन ऑफ ए स्क्वायर नाउ लेट एस गो फॉर परफेक्ट क्यूब हियर परफेक्ट क्यूब इज नथिंग बट मल्टीप्लाइंग एनी नंबर थ्री टाइम्स वी से इट एज परफेक्ट क्यूब फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर हैविंग टू टू मल्टीप्लाइड थ्री टाइम्स गूस एट Here two two is a four, four two is a eight. Yeah, it is a perfect cube of two. These can be written as two power. How many is there? One two three. Two power three is equal to two into two into two is equal to eight. And this two power three, we can say this. If you are having three on the power, we can say it as two cube. Also here. Any number multiplied three times will gives the perfect cube. Here, for example, if you are having five, five multiplied three times, it gives one twenty five, and these can be said as five cube. We can say here and here perfect cube is any number multiplied three times will gives the perfect cube, and here cube root means. the inverse function of a cube is called as cube root for example if you are having x cube is equal to 8 we can say 3 is on the power when 3 is transposing to the right side we can say it forms x is equal to cube root of 8 we can say And here, this is cube root of y. If we are writing like this, this is not cube root of y. This we say it as three root y. Here, three is multiplied with root y. When you are writing three in the under root, we say it as cube root of any particular number, and we can say here. Here we can say cube root is nothing but the inverse function of a cube is called as cube root. We can say here if you are having this one three root y, we can write it as y power one by three. X is equal to y power one by three. We can say as we know y can be written as two cube. We can write eight as two cube whole to the power of one by three. Here, this three three get cancelled, so we are having two power one. Two power one is nothing but two. So the value of x is two. The cube root of eight is two. We can say here. Now let us see in how many ways we can find. The square roots and cube roots here. Here we can find out the roots in two forms. First of all, square roots and cube roots. Here, square root can be found in three different methods. Here, first method is. prime factorization method prime factorization method second method is division method the third method of square root is estimation method estimation method here there are three methods to solve the square roots here first method is prime factorization method second method is division method third method is estimation method here estimation gives the approximate answer of the perfect square here in estimation you will get approximate value in division and prime factorization methods we get exact values now come to the q 
क्यूब रूट्स क्यूब रूट्स कैन बी सॉल्व इन टू डिफरेंट वेज एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड एंड द सेकेंड वन ऑफ क्यूब रूट इज एस्टिमेशन मेथड एस्टिमेशन मेथड हियर एस्टिमेशन मेथड एंड द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड विल बी प्रेजेंट to find out the cube root here we are having prime factorization method division method estimation method for square roots and prime factorization method estimation method for the cube roots if we are having a question like this yai for this yai how much we should multiply to make it as a perfect square or for this yai how much we should divide to make it as a perfect square if they asked we have to go with prime factorization method with what number the given number is multiplied with what number the given number is divided if they are asking go with prime factorization method to find out the square root here in prime factorization method we we have how much number multiplied or with what number we should divide the particular given number means we have to go with prime factorization method now if they are asking how much number we should add to this to make it as a perfect square or how much number we should subtract from this to make it as a perfect square if you are having like that we use division method means subtraction addition if they are asking we use division method how much number is subtracted from the given number how much number is added to the given number to make it as a perfect square if they are asking we use division method and one more thing in the division method we can say that we can find out the square roots of decimals also if we are having like this 1.64 this 1.64 value can be found in the division method only like this decimal number square roots cannot be found in the prime factorization method decimal number square roots can be found in the division method and here estimation method is a approximate method and come to the cube root prime factorization method is used in the cube roots also here in the prime factorization method we can say how much number is multiplied to the particular number to make it as a perfect cube or how much number we have to divide to the particular number to make it as a perfect cube we can known by the prime factorization method in this one so we can say here for multiplication of the particular number or division of the particular number to make it as a perfect cube we use prime factorization method and estimation method is used to find out the approximate value of cube roots in the next videos we are going to find how to find out the prime factorization method in the square roots division method in the square root and estimation method in the square roots and also prime factorization method in the cube root estimation method in the cube roots in the next videos if you like this video share like subscribe to my channel